I want to bring in from Brussels, Colette Breckman, journalist at uh, newspaper uh, Le Soir, author of Rwanda, History of a Genocide. And Colette, um, it's always a pleasure to speak to you. I remember during those heartbreaking days of 1994, when I was working at Radio France International, being on the phone with you, you were covering the conflict uh, at the time. You're in Belgium, where you are, they did issue a formal apology uh, to Rwanda. How did it go? Well, Belgium apologized in 99 after a commission. You can compare with Commission, commission Duclair, a parliamentary commission that looked all the all the story of the relationship between Belgium and Rwanda. And finally, the prime minister went himself to Kigali and he said, I, I apologize in the name of my people. And that was a very great moment of um, of uh, uh, of healing, healing for Belgians, healing for Rwandese, and also tears in the eyes of the Rwandese because it was the first time a Western, a Western country was very close to them, apologized clearly what, about what they, they did and what they did not. Was it a difficult decision to take, particularly for Belgium's military? No. No, because the Belgians were not not involved in the support of the of the Hutu army, and they paid it for it because they lost uh, ten uh, ten commandos in the first day of of the genocide. But the, in the, within the public opinion, there was still a lot of confusion, and so, so this parliamentary commission did a very good job in clarifying the uh, the spirit and also the the political attitude of the prime minister. This this made a breakthrough, and since then. The relationship between Belgium and, and the Rwandese people is more or less uh, in peace. If Fast I might forward say. to 2021. Um, Colette Breckmann, what's your take on the Duclair Commission and the announcement that's come in uh, this Wednesday that uh, the uh, archives of uh, François Mitterrand pertaining to that period, the former French president, are going to be opened? Well, I would say at last we had to wait a quarter of a century to see the uh, the truth the truth coming out. But still, it is important. And what I want to focus on this: they are still now in the region, in Congo, in the neighboring countries, in Europe, in Belgium, in France. A lot of people, negationists, would, would deny the genocide, would deny any culpability. And this this Duclair report is also a, a big blow against the those negationists. And it's very important also for the peace in France, in the spirits and the, the conscience of the French, of the Europeans. But it's also very important for peace in the region of the Great Lakes. I just come back from there, which is still at war, which still suffer from the consequence of the genocide in Rwanda.